in the canoe from the rain <laughs> last water. night. More water than I've ever seen. In the and a big snapping turtle. Wow, look at the size of this guy right by our dock. Well, he's got real claws, eh? We're still home in Canada while we wait for borders to reopen with Panama so we can get back to our own boat, Distant Shores 3. I'm Paul Shard, and this time on Distant Shores, we're all about boat handling. The first time you handle a new boat can be daunting, so we're going to go through some tips and tricks to get to know her. Well, hey, we're aboard Silent Joy today. We're going to give some examples of docking when you come down onto a new boat and you haven't uh, handled her before. First thing we want to figure out is some of the basic characteristics of the boat. We've got a little bit of wind today. She's got two rudders and she's got a right-handed propeller, as I believe. She is right-handed, right? Yes. So the propeller spins Correct. this Correct. way, Correct. which means when we reverse into the dock, she'll want to pull her stern into port. But this is the dock you've got, so you dock starboard side two every time. So we'll try docking starboard two, but we'll also try docking port hand two. Multi cameras running. Yep. Right, how do we start this baby? So turn on, then start right. button. So we can hear the uh, engine exhaust is working. Yep, so she's spitting water out. Good to go, what a day. We make sure shore power is disconnected and take off all lines leaving the spring line till last. So practically the last line to come off should be this one because it's the only thing holding us from going back on the dock. Right. Do you think you can manage to get this one off okay? So as we move forward a little, it should slide right. off. We always pre-plan our strategy before leaving the dock and make sure that everyone on board understands the plan. All right. So as we come out from the dock, we have to make a sharp left turn. And she doesn't have steerage way yet. We need to get a little bit of speed up. She only needs about a half a knot of speed, it looks like. And then she already starts to turn. So that's, that's really good for twin rudder boat, that's great. Already we've learned a bit about how Silent Joy handles, that she can turn with only half a knot of speed. Perfect. So what we want to do is feel how the boat moves, how much way she keeps when you put the boat in reverse, how quickly does she stop. So we're going a couple of knots, I guess knot and a half, two knots. This boat has a small two-bladed propeller, so I expect it to be good for sailing, but less efficient in gear and weak in reverse. I just get her moving a little bit and then we'll put it in reverse. Neutral for a couple seconds. Between gears, I always pause in idle to avoid damaging the transmission. As soon as we put it in reverse, even though the rudder's centered, notice she pulls her stern to port. So that's proof that we have a right-handed propeller when you put the engine in reverse, she pulls their stern over like this. Now we've also got a breeze coming up, I guess uh, five or seven knots of wind. So that's, uh, you can sort of feel her turning there. Now for this reason, you always want to turn if you're in a really tight spot, if you're coming into a dock like that where there's almost no room on each side, you want to be able to Make, and you need to make a turn, definitely plan that you're gonna turn to starboard. I'll show you why. We're gonna go in here, we're making our turn, we're running out of space. We put it in reverse, and reverse actually helps it to do it. It stops and it's turning right on the spot here. Really nice. So 
if we just we want to we can go start forward again and reverse just changing forward to reverse. Practicing like this when you have some space around you means you have a better feel for an unfamiliar boat when you get close to the dock. And she's turning even though I'm not moving the wheel. We can make a turn. So what we're going to do now is we want to come back into the dock. We need to, we'd be coming in to pull into the, the entrance, but it's really narrow in there. So rather than trying to make a turn when we get all the way down there. I'm going to dock back in a, most of the way in. So we'll start by making our turn. And we want to come up so we're wound up straight into the into the stern and we're looking at one of those far in docks. Now we can see how well she handles in reverse. This is the first time I have reversed with this boat so I want to see how her twin rudders perform and at what speeds. The rudders won't bite until you get a little bit of way on. So right now we're still making a bit of a turn as we're watching. Now we've straightened up. And as soon as we let the engine off a little bit, she'll start to go over to the starboard and the rudders are biting, but we had to remove the thrust from the propeller to do that. So now she handles, she's steering in reverse, which is great. This boat is really handles nice, eh? I think the keel's all the way up. This has a small uh, lifting keel on the bottom of the boat and uh, it's working no problem. Uh, so the boat is handling pretty well even though there's very little keel down. Now on this dock I think it's probably overgrown under the bottom under the water there so. Even when you're moving around like this you can still get a feel of how much you need to turn the wheel you see and already she's coming back now it's time to make our turn in a little bit of weed in the nearby slip so hopefully we're not going to hit that backing up she's backing very nicely a little bit of breeze is just sort of pushing us along there you want me to drop this on as we come in yeah well, you drop that in as we come by the piling so we're going to use a spring this is a midship spring line set and ready to go. The spring line will connect from the middle of the starboard side forward to stop the yacht going too far in towards the wall. So just in neutral now. You can drop that line on when you can. And then we have, now we know we're gonna be able to control the boat as we come back. Remember, we learned the two blade prop is a little weak in forward, so we back in slowly. Perfect. I can get ashore with a line. And we're here. And we're here. For the second example, we'll come into the dock forwards. So, again, the same thing. So, bow line off, please. I turn the wheel to starboard to keep the stern off the dock until we're past the end and can begin the turn to port. A little bit of speed always helps with a twin rudder boat. As soon as she gets moving then she's got tremendous steering. She really steers great. I'll just turn us around. So make a quick turn around and we'll come in and take another try. This time we're going to come bow in. So this time we're coming in again starboard side too. If we can, we like to come in port too, because that means as you come up to the dock, you can always reverse and then kick the stern in, which is very handy, uh, presuming you have a right-handed propeller, which many boats do. Uh, don't just assume that though, so check with your boat if it is right or left-handed. It's okay. Yeah, we're going to a different dock. But I'm just doing the same lines. Just, you'll get a spring on the same way. I like to use a spring line connected to the midship area since it holds the boat pretty well until you can get the bow and stern line secured. So it'll be right on the other side of this promise kept. So this is a fairly snug little berth here. Oh, she really spins so nicely this boat. So there's your piling again. You can drop it over the top of that one. It's a short little piling. Many times you'll find yourself coming into a dock which is a little shorter than the length of the boat. Another reason the spring should go on first.
How are we on the voucher? Okay. You got um, a meter off the edge of the hall. How about now? We're here. You want to come back and grab the line again? Yeah, we're going to come out straight out. So if you can grab that spring. So again, in this case, we're leaving a dock that's very tight in behind us. So we're going to try to get a turn before we get out of here. We could try a spring line. This would be something we can make another video of. If you like these kind of videos, let us know. We're going to make some more of them. Every time you take a new boat out, you gain experience with her, and pretty soon you can handle her in most situations. This is one of those rare days when there isn't an audience ashore. Plus, the docks aren't crowded since it's the end of the season. Throw a comment below if you found this video helpful and would like more like it. Thanks for watching, and a special thank you to all of our Cruising Club members on Patreon for their support making these videos.